Welcome everyone to another edition of Get Your Game On, the channel dedicated to immersive gaming experiences. Today's video is one I hadn't planned on making, but after a recent experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, I just had to do it. Stick around if you want to know why. So it's story time for my viewers. I want to give you guys a little background on what's been happening here at Get Your Game On. As many of you know, we've been working on a motion compensation video and it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but it's coming along. So in the process of making that video, we had been using the Vario Aero and um, this headset uses lighthouse tracking. And we wanted to mess around a little bit more with the wit motion style of motion compensation, which is more akin to the HP G2. So I got away from using the Arrow uh, and we started really focusing on the HP Reverb G2 for the motion compensation. So after we kind of messed with that and got that figured out, I went back to the Arrow and as many of you know, I typically wear glasses inside my VR headsets. But I'm also very careful. I always inspect the lenses to make sure I'm not scratching them. Well, when I went back to the Arrow, I looked at the lenses and sure enough, I was starting to get some scratches on the lenses. So that brought any future sessions of using the Vario Arrow to a halt until I could fix that problem. And I realized real quickly that I needed to get some prescription lenses as inserts to not only let me see, but also to protect the lenses from any uh, further damage. So, unfortunately, it had already been a little bit of time since I'd been in the Arrow, and then after I detected those scratches, it took a little time, as you know, to get an eye doctor appointment, then to get in and get my eyes checked, get the prescription, and then order the lenses. I gotta honestly say, I should have done that sooner. I know a lot of my viewers have been telling me for years, hey, get some uh, prescription lenses, but to be honest, I'm fairly cheap, and uh, the prescription lenses for VR can be expensive when you need as much correction as I need, so I just didn't do it. But after having done it, let me just tell you, it is an amazing experience. Not having to worry about another set of glasses fogging up in there, the, the, uh, the comfort of knowing, yes, my lenses are now protected, and just the ease of use uh, is all worthwhile. I'd recommend anyone that wears prescription lenses go ahead and get you some VR inserts. I think it's the way to go. So I had been out of the Arrow for several months at that point. Um, and during that time, we actually uh, had our friends from uh, Studio Form Creative. They had watched my review of the Arrow and they had saw where I was talking about how the headset basically rests on my cheeks pretty hard and gives me VR face. And they sent me these... Uh, balancing kits for the arrow to see if if that helped and I thought well heck while we're uh, waiting for the prescription lenses we might as well put those on as well um, I will continue to use the balancing kit it definitely helped uh, it, it doesn't get all the weight off but it definitely makes it a little more comfortable it does make the headset a little bit more heavy but um, yeah so far I, I like these and so a big thank you to studio form creative for uh, sending those over, I really appreciate it. They didn't, they didn't expect anything in return, but uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys. We appreciate you thinking of me, and um, I will use them. So basically, the new prescription lenses, the balancing kit, and then also I downloaded the latest uh, Vario-based software. It was, it was gonna be a kind of a whole new experience for me. And it really surprised me. Because I'd been out of the arrow so long, uh, it was almost like I was getting in again for the first time, and the experience just kind of stunned me. I had forgotten what it was like to be in VR in such a high-end headset. There was a moment when I was flying around in Scotland, and there was some low-lying fog, and it was just, it took my breath away. Um, I couldn't believe it. I, I looked over at the co-pilot seat at the dashboard, and it just felt so real. And so I really wanted to come back and this this is kind of the reverse of my other video where we revisited the uh, HP uh, Reverb G2 after a while I'm kind of revisiting the Arrow and again it just took my breath away so for anyone looking for a top-end VR experience 
The Vario Aero is still the best VR experience that I've ever had. Now, obviously, this is going to open up that whole can of worms that we've gone through time and time again with, is it worth the money? You know, it costs five times as much, all that stuff. And if you want to have that argument again, I'd, I'd ask that you go back and watch the first review, read through all the comments because we've talked this to death. I mean, we've talked it ad nauseum. Now, if there's something in there that you see a new... Uh, argument or something feel free we'll talk about it but um just know for me the headset was totally worth it and i still stand by that this was an amazing headset now since that time i also updated the vario base software and i can tell you in dcs with the new uh, motion smoothing that they have implemented in vario base i've lost a lot of that um lag and that jerkiness that I used to get as I'd come in for a carrier landing, it would always kind of stutter on me. And that is gone now. Now it has impacted the visuals slightly. I noticed the clouds are a little bit more grainy. They're not quite as smooth as they used to be, but the trade-off for having not having that lag when I'm coming in for a landing is worth it. So uh, the Vario Base software is amazing for anyone that hasn't used it. Uh, it's just amazing piece of software that they continue to develop on and on, and I, I'm super pleased with it. One interesting thing I will tell you from the prescription lens side, I did uh, have to get used to basically being blind when I take the headset off because, uh, you know, you basically take your glasses off, put the headset on, and when you take the headset off, everything's blurry. So it's weird that transition of just not being able to see. Um, I'm still getting used to that. And yes, I have put the headset on one time with my glasses still on, just out of habit. Uh, the good thing about that is with the inserts, you know, you're protecting those lenses. So um, definitely a proponent of the uh, prescription lenses. They are worth it. And um, yeah, it's just an amazing experience. So that's really all, all I have for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned. We will be continuing to work on our motion compensation video. Uh, Jeff Weaver will be helping me with that as well. And uh, if you, this is your first time here, please remember to like and subscribe uh, if you like this kind of content. So that's it for me. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate all your support. And until next time, remember to get your game on.